She asked me, son, when I grow old, will you buy me a house of gold? And when your father turns to stone, will you take care of me? She asked me, son, when I grow old, will you buy me a house of gold? And when your father turns to stone, will you take care of me? I will make you queen of everything you see. I'll put you on the map, I'll cure you of disease. Let's say we up and left this town And turned our future upside down We'll make pretend that you and me Lived ever after happily She asked me, son, when I grow old Will you buy me a house of gold? I'll put you on the map. I'll cure you of disease. Hey everyone, welcome to this year's first episode of GVTV. I'm Maverick Alexander. And I'm Freddy Hernandez. I can't wait to see what this year has to offer. I know, we have so many things to write stories on this year. And we can't forget about all the entertaining holiday specials. Oh yeah, I love those. Speaking of all the new stuff here at Grand Valley, have you seen how many new teachers are here? Yeah, there's, there's a ton of new teachers here at Grain Valley. Yeah, I think we should learn about them and as the GVTV goes, we have a story on it. Let's head out to Team 7 in the field to learn about some of these new teachers. I'm Hannah Shackles. And I'm Cindy Silly. And we're here to introduce you to the new teachers at Grain Valley High School. Let's go meet the new librarian. Hi, I'm Hannah Shackles, and I'm here with the new librarian, Miss Hannah, to ask her a few questions. So, is this your first year as a new teacher? No, actually I was an English teacher at Blue Springs High School, um, four years there. So, I had everyone from sophomores to juniors to seniors with English 2, English 3, and AP Lang. So, um, this is my first year as a librarian, but not as a teacher. Okay. What do you look to contribute to Green Valley High School? Well, first and foremost, I want to encourage literacy among students. So I want to help them find books that they actually want to read um, and help them find a way to enjoy reading. Um, I want to be able to help teachers with technology and helping with research within their classes. So basically supporting teachers and students. Okay. What's your favorite thing about Green Valley High School so far? Well, I'd have to say the size I really enjoy. Um, Blue Springs was a lot bigger. We had about 600 students in each graduating class. So this is nice because I feel like I'm actually meeting people. And then so far, the students have been so sweet and welcoming. So I'm really enjoying interacting with them, too. Hey, it's Cindy Slee here. Unfortunately, the next few teachers we wanted to interview aren't available at this time. So we're just going to show you where their new rooms are. Hey, I'm here at room 303 where Ms. Malott teaches. Now I'm here at room 414 where Mr. Byers teaches. Now I'm here at room 424 where Miss Stace teaches. Now I'm here at room 202 where Miss McCord teaches. Han Shackles here with uh, the new teacher, Mr. Van Fleet, to ask him a few questions. Is this your first year as a teacher? Yes, this is my first year teaching. What do you look to contribute to Grain Valley High School? I want to contribute excitement, energy, um, Spanish, language, culture, just an overall perspective of um, Spanish culture. 
So how are you liking Grain Valley and what's your favorite thing? I love Grain Valley High School and I'd say my favorite thing about it uh, would be the students are really fun, um, they're exciting, but most of all they're actually really respectful. Okay, thank you. Thank you to the few teachers we did get to interview and thanks Sydney for showing us where the classrooms are. Now back to you in the studio. Wow, I had no idea who any of those teachers were. Well, Mav, that's kind of why we did a story on it. <laughs> I know, I know. Thank you again, Team 7. Hey, did you attend last Friday night's football game? <sighs> Freddy, I start on defense. That's, that's right. <laughs> so, uh, how did the game go? Uh -huh, sure, you knew I started on defense. And I think it'd be best if we checked in with sports to see how all the fall sports are doing. Take it away, Kyle and Eli. GVTV, Elijah Allen. Thanks, Kyle. Today it is my honor to bring you the first ever GVTV sports segment for this 2015-2016 school year, where you get news, highlights, interviews with players and coaches, and many more. That's right, GV. Now, last year we had sports segments, and this year it's been completely redone. I hope you enjoy, and let's get started. To kick things off, let's start with football. Two weeks ago, your very own Grand Valley Eagles varsity football team took on the Savages of Savannah. The game didn't really go their way as the score ended with your Eagles 14 and Savannah 29. Despite the loss, there were two great offensive touchdown passes made by your varsity quarterback, Kellen Holland. Let's take a look. That wasn't the only touchdown of the night for the Eagles, though. The next one would be a pass again, but this time Kellen finds senior Tristan Hilliard in the back of the end zone. Take a look. Those were some great plays, and last week your Eagles took on St. Joe Benton Cardinals and ended up with their second loss of the season, losing 20-15. to The Grand Valley Boys soccer team competed in the Raytown South Tournament and took second place. That's right, your Eagles took on the Raytown Blue Jays for the first matchup and came out on top 3-1. to Staying strong though, the second game they went on to beat Van Horn 4-2. to Starting off the season with a 2-0 win is not bad as your Eagles took on North Kansas City, leading by one at the half. But in the last two minutes of the game, North Kansas City strikes back to tie the game. The game would go into double overtime, and your boys' varsity soccer would lose 2-1 to one in the championship. Still a great job by our boys, and they play Tuesday and Thursday this week at home as they take on the Warrensburg Tigers and Lee Summit Tigers. Dude, you should have seen me on the tennis course this weekend. I was tearing it up out there. Yeah, but can you tear it up as much as our GV Girls Tennis does? Uh, I don't think so. I mean, they did defeat Odessa 9-0 and Harrisonville 9-0 to start off the season. Yeah, they got you beat. And congrats to the tennis team on the win. Hey, have you heard about the girls' volleyball? Yeah, I did. The C-team girls lost to St. Joan Benton in two games. That's all right. Girls, keep your heads up because there's plenty of season left. As far as JV and varsity, they both defeated St. Joan Benton that night. That's right, they did. Congrats to the volleyball team and keep killing it. What do you say we see how the softball team is done? Well, your JV girls go 1-1 in the doubleheader over Oak Grove. Uh, how did varsity do? They went 2-1 in the softball tourney to finish third. Now that's what I like to hear. Hey Kyle. Four! <laughs> Wait, what? I'm kidding, bro. Our girls' golf is way better than that. 
Oh yeah, I heard they beat O'Hara at Adams Point in their first match. They sure did, and congrats to Shelby Kimbra for shooting a 69 to get the dub. I hear that cross country team runs better than most governments. Well, duh. They competed in the Fort Osage Quad last week and took first place. Congrats to your overall race winners, Mariah Lister for the Varsity Girls Race, Spencer Porter for the JV Boys Race, and Ella Ringwood for the Girls JV Race. Well guys, that's all the sports we have for this week. And a big shout out to our GV Superfans for being the best supporters out there. Follow them on Twitter, at SuperfansGV. Also, if you want to keep up with your GV sports, follow at GVHS Activities. Thanks for watching. Now back to you guys in the studio. Wow, fall sports are doing really well. Yeah, they, they are. You know what pumps me up most about this fall? Uh, what? Homecoming. Freddie, that's like three weeks away. I know, but we need to start informing everyone about everything so we can make sure this homecoming is one for the books. He's right, guys. Everyone, make sure you're tuning in every week to, for the status on homecoming. Dude, I am so pumped. Man, you have no idea. This is going to be the best homecoming yet. Well, Mav, I believe that's all we have for this week's episode of GVTV. You are correct. Everyone, make sure you follow GVTV on Instagram and Twitter at GVHS Eagle Media. Also, for more updates on everything Grain Valley, Go follow Grain Valley Government at GV Stugov. See you next week, GV. She asked me, son, when I grow old, will you buy me a house of gold? And when your father turns to stone, will you take care?